About 100 Mississippi Mills residents got together Wednesday night to talk about concerns they have about the safety of their drinking water. They all live near the NRC's National Fire Testing Laboratory. J.D. Helfern, who chaired the meeting, says three important issues came out as a result of this. Here's what he has to say. So we're concerned about health. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns. Uh, our neighborhood uh, in our meeting last evening discussed, you know, how does this compound affect us? We've got children that have, since uh, they've been weaned off breath, breast milk, been making formula with this water. We have people who have been here all of their life consuming this water. And then what does it mean to have short-term exposure versus long-term exposure? So we're on a fact-finding mission and we're going to be looking for some answers. So people have some questions surrounding how does this affect their property and property values, which are very valid questions considering we have this overhanging dark cloud over our community now. A number of our folks around here are in the process because they're in a stage of their life to downsize or move elsewhere to look at property elsewhere and to be selling here. And they're concerned about how this affects their value. And then the rest of us as well are concerned about how does this affect our value moving forward. Uh, we do know that this compound is in our groundwater. We do know that this compound is in our surface water. And it's not just us as humans that are consuming this. It is the farms around the area. It is the wildlife around the area. And it's just the environment as a whole. We know the compound bioaccumulates in the body us as humans but how does it affect the animals as well. So there's a lot of questions that we're uh, going to be seeking some uh, subject matter expert advice on and uh, we look forward to seeing what the results of that are.